We're eating street food desserts from around the world. Let's talk about that. Good mythical summer. I got good news and I got bad news. Bad news first. Oh. Today is the last day of the Street Food Eat Olympics. Oh no! But the good news is that today we're moving on to trying the best sweet street foods from around oh, the world. Oh yes! Uh huh. Now give me some sugar! Okay. Oh. Uh, uh, it actually did hurt a little bit. It's time for the 2024 Summer Street Food Eat Olympics Sweets Event. Okay, boys, welcome to the sweet event. Just like the savory events, there will be three heats of street food dishes which qualified to be here based on their scores in these categories. Eye catchiness, mouth wateringness, novelty and ingenuity, and untapped popularity. You will both score every dish from one to 10 and the top three scorers will be awarded the bronze, silver, and gold Eat yes. Olympic medals over on the official Eat Olympic podiums. And in honor of the actual 2024 Summer Olympics, Eat Olympic representative, Chase will be holding the classic Olympics pose for the entirety of today's episode. Nice. Can you talk, Chase? Of course. <laughs> ah, yes. All right. Look at him. He's got a plate instead of whatever frisbee the Olympics guy it's, has. It was definitely a frisbee. That's what it was. Uh huh. I know it. All right. First heat today includes the top sweet candy qualifiers. Beginning on Rhett's side, we have Tangulu from China, which is skewered candied fruit encased in crystallized sugar. In this case, grapes. That's grapes. Just, oh just grapes on a stick. So dipped in what? sugar. Is it, so is it? I mean, is there something to the grape, or is it just an actual grape with the candy over it? It's just. With some candy over it. You guys had this with uh, Jackson Wang, in, but with strawberries. I don't know if you remember. Uh, I remember Jackson. Oh, fuck, grapes. <laughs> it's like a miniature candy apple mm -hmm. experience, but much better. Grapes are great. Because one bite and you get everything. It looks cool. It's like a caterpillar, you know? Man, you know who else looks really cool? Chase. Yeah. Oh, okay. There he is. Has it changed a bit? Hi. All right. Still feeling good? I'm feeling great. Are you guys inspired? Yes. Yeah, man. Can't wait to see you throw that plate. It's gonna happen. This is pretty pretty awesome. This is simple. It's elegant. Thank you. It um, it's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect for a stick, which means it's great for street food. I kind of thought that the grapes might have something to them that besides just being great. What do you want? Inject it with something? Yeah, like Butter. alcohol. Okay. So for that, I'm still gonna I'm gonna give it a 5.9. Okay, I love it. I love grapes. 7.1. Oh. Okay, next you have marron glacé from France, which are candy chestnuts. Candy chestnuts. It's so hard to what? get into a chestnut. Have you ever tried? You ever tried? Is this uh-uh. Is this whole thing the chestnut? Yes. And it's just infused with sugar? Yeah, it's candied. It's candied. <laughs> From France, you say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lane, did you know that each Olympic medal this year will be infused with iron from the original <laughs> Eiffel Tower, which was built for the 1889 World's Fair? You don't say. Oh, ever. I do say. You never said it. Um, mm. I'm not particularly fond of these. 4.7. 3.2. And mm. finally, the Ooh. tango from Japan, which are sweet, chewy rice balls. Oh, Isn't I like this a rice ball. beautiful? Look at those things. You're saying, look at me, I'm beautiful. Rice can be turned into so many things. I love the consistency of it. I love the fact that it's a little bit cold, even though it's room temperature. Have you ever thought about that? Rice is always a little bit colder than it should be. Is this mochi, basically? Yeah, it's pretty similar to mochi. It has a similar flavor and texture profile. I bet you I can get one of these on Chase's plate. I love, oh. <laughs> Don't move, Chase. I haven't. He hasn't. Chase. Look at him. All yeah. right, so you're All gonna right. ding it? I'm gonna ding your plate. Don't All move right. it. 
Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here's, no, here's another one. Here's another one. Oh, you got any more? That was, yeah, I bit some of it, but. Oh, uh, oh, he did move. Can we add a ding sound in post to make that more satisfying? <laughs> I think you hit his elbow. Yeah, that that counts. Um, this one is not as sweet as you might think, given the looks of it. But it's colder than you thought it would be. But it is colder than I thought it would be. Um, I really love the texture, and I'm a texture guy. It's got a great texture. I'm gonna give it 6.3, even though it's not even that sweet. I'm gonna give it a 6.4. I you like it. Like it. If, 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 if you like found one of these in the bottom of a stream, you'd wanna collect it. Oh, I would be worried for it, though, because it would be getting wet and dissolving. Oh. Yeah. This next heat includes the top sweet breadified qualifiers. Beginning Bread-ified? on that side, we have beaver tails from Canada, which are deep fried discs of dough served with many different so topping warm. options. They're so warm. That gum if it don't look like a beaver tail. I've never heard of this, and we're so close. It's like right above us. Is that because as it's a country, not good? I, There's no way. It I can't smell be good. it, and it smells incredible. Oh, oh why? yeah. Why? <laughs> Have cinnamon and sugar beaver tail? We never tasted this. Mmm. Mmm. We getting some tail. Hmm. Is, uh, do any of them have anything stuffed in them? No, they're just regular, just regular beaver tails, boss. Now, <laughs> now Chase? Yeah? <laughs> I saw out of the corner of my eye when I talked to Nicole that you were kind of moving over there. No, it wasn't. You saw out of the corner of your eye what you wanted to see. Because I've been like this the whole time. Hold on. And I do like what I see. Um, I don't think it needs anything. I mean... If I had a little icing I could dip it in, maybe. Cinnamon sugar. But cinnamon sugar is a great oh, combo. Good. And it's a nice thin bread that doesn't get overwhelming. I know, it's kind of like, Canada, what have you been hiding? It's fun, like the theme of it. Because the beavers totally are all on over point. Canada. The God. taste is great. All I gotta say is. The feel is great. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. I get it. Yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm 8.2. Mm. 8.2, I did it, I broke eight. 8.3. Whoa, no, <laughs> I went point one Whoa, right him. Wow. And wait, listen, we're acting like 8.3 is the new 10.0. Well, because we have Olympics. been so. Olympics. This is the Eat Olympics. We're scoring low because it's high standard. We and we're not just. 8.4 on We're a not dive. just scoring for this year, we're scoring for every year. From here on From out. From here on out, That's because right. naked athletes are gonna be eating snacks long after we're gone. Yeah, that's right. And, and there's gotta be a room, there's gotta be a ceiling, some extra space for people to rank stuff that hadn't even yep. been invented yet. And did you hear that the 2028 Los Angeles Olympics are gonna be all naked? That's one of the things. Yeah, all naked. <laughs> okay. They're bringing it back. Okay. What's this? Up next we have brioche con gelato from Italy, which is a brioche bun stuffed with gelato. Okay. And is this mint chocolate chip? Pistachio. Oh, pistachio. Okay, okay. Pistachio. Sorry. Pistachio. This seems gratuitously over the top. It's just a hamburger bun. But Chase, ice cream what do you think? I think it's gratuitously over the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not moving at all. When I yell his name, he doesn't spring into action and get back into a pose that he hadn't been holding. No, he continues to hold the pose that he's always been holding. When you go to bed tonight, Chase will be holding that pose. Um, hmm. Well, wow, it's actually quite tasty once you really get into it. I really love the ice cream part of this, but the bread part is a bit gratuitous. I thought you would appreciate the fact that it guards your teeth from the ice cream. You know what? I do appreciate that. So what happened to that? Well, all ice cream sandwiches do that, but this ice cream sandwich is just, it, it's, I don't know. Maybe I'm just too American. It's brioche, man. But brioche, I want a burger in there. Well, I want something savory. It's though. like it's it it's just a bit weird. It's better than I thought it was going to be. Um, I think I do appreciate the consistency of an ice cream sandwich mm. material better than I do just brioche. But I'm going to give it 
I'm going to give it a, a 6.4. I'm going to give it a 4.9. Doesn't yeah. quite make the cut for me. And last, we have Kiran Pan from the Republic of Korea. Her small, fluffy loaves of bread topped with egg. Look <laughs> like how cute that is. And I see the egg on there. It's just a little loaf of bread. I'll be dead. Oh, it's got a little eggy taste, flavor, smell. It does have that sm scent to it. Mmm. That's really nice. Is it sweet in any way? In many ways. <laughs> I think the egg and the sweet is going to be a little bit hard for, for you to enjoy. That's my prediction. But, especially when you get to that part. Oh, gosh, there's a whole egg in the middle? He doesn't like yolk. What? Oh, my goodness, look at that. There's he's, a whole yolk in there. He's not a yolk guy. Mm. I'm a yolk guy. Well, you know, it's like, that's, not, that's nothing but a ball of cholesterol. I can't do that anymore. That's right, you got to stay away from that. You know, I need to find some fiber to offset this thing. <laughs> Christy's really been drilling it into me. She like Oh she's... really? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I didn't know you guys were into that. <laughs> she made a list of all the ways for me to reduce my cholesterol. Oh. Um not a fan. I'm a little off put by a complete egg in the middle of a sweet I dish. Should, I shouldn't have told you. Two point three. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's a no-show in the Olympics, man. That's They didn't get it out of the locker room. Do you, you feel that strongly about it? Well, it's interesting. That, uh, that's why I gave it some points. Um, I feel like it's missing a little something. I'll give it a 5.3. We've been working on something all year that we are very excited for you to see, and we're going to show you a little bit right now. Yes. yes. <laughs> we have a new show. It's called Rhett and Link's Wonder Hole. It premieres August 23rd on the original Rhett and Link channel that we really, really, really want you to subscribe to so you can see it and you can be yes, ready we for did. it. We've been working on it all year! Did you say that? I did. I, it's, it's called fine. Wonder Hole! Did we say that? Yeah, we did. And you know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna show you the trailer. I feel like we should do this together. I'll go after you. You wouldn't know the right way if it bit you in your mechanically replaced ass. Oh, so this is about my titanium ass? It's always about my tight ass. We're trying to communicate an elegant experience. To suck harder. I'm sucking hard. I got it. Ow! Are you serious? Dude, I should have been a surgeon. If surgeons just cut me these faces. I definitely feel like a cafeteria one. Yeah, definitely. Are you feeling the jeans? I'm feeling good, if that's what you mean. <laughs> What did you do to me, man? I don't know how safe this is, but I mean, it's fun. It's a simulation. Ah! <laughs> 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 you believe it, man? <laughs> yeah! Pretty exciting. So this uh, inaugural season, I'm calling it the inaugural season, oh, yes. has six episodes. We're going to release one every Friday beginning August 23rd. So go ahead and subscribe to the Retin Link channel right now if you're not already. It's Wonderhole, August 23rd. Stevie? And this last sweet heat includes the top sweet fruit forward qualifiers. Beginning on Rhett's side, we have the Suck Suck from Jamaica. What's that which you is say? A, a Suck 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 from suck. Jamaica, which is a bagged frozen drink normally consumed by sucking on a small hole bitten in one corner of the bag. Really? I got my hole. A little embarrassed <laughs> for you to watch me do this, but. Well, then just watch me do it then. Mm. I am really enjoying it, though. <laughs> so it's kind of like a, I mean, it's a lot more than you would get with like a, like a cylindrical icy. Right. But it's a similar experience. And when you say a lot more, you mean a lot more plastic? A lot more plastic. I feel like I got some in my gourd. Yeah, a lot more of the icy, too. So it's, it's a coneless icy. Oh, wait, wait, it cools your hands now. Yeah, a hot day in Jamaica. And then when you're done, you just, you tie a new knot. 
There you go. And you can you save up, some. You end up with knots all over the place. This is fun. It's very portable. I love the name. Um, the taste itself is not anything revolutionary. No. It's what you exactly I'm not a big icy, it was. icy fan. But still. Ingenuity, though. It, the ingenuity involved. I'll uh, give you a 6.0. Portab 6.0. Portability. You know, I'm a, I'm gonna give it a seven point one because I I love the name. Have I said that? <laughs> wow. The name. I mean, it's like, don't be afraid wow. to call it what you it is. Really love the name. It tells you how to do it. Suck suck. We did it. Okay. Uh, next, you uh, have this right here. Church Killer from Church Georgia. Church Killer. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call me. <laughs> Which is a candy made by repeatedly dipping a long string of nuts in a mixture of flour, sugar, and concentrated fresh grape juice. Oh. Grape juice. Oh, it's got a interesting smell. Now, with all that fiber you're getting, you should be familiar with this. T t tell me how the grape comes into it, Nicole. So um, it's strung, so the nuts are strung up, and it's dipped into this grape must concoction and it dries and they dip it again it's very similar to old school candle making actually which is hmm it's okay called a candle like dessert so it's nutty i don't taste any grape i really like the texture i like the bounciness of it a gummy there's a real gummy quality to it i'm gonna give it 7.0 if it was called Suck Suck, I'd have given it more. Um, I'm not feeling as strongly about that. 6.2. Okay. Okay, we finally one more. we have Torshak from Iran, which is made with a hibiscus base with dried fruit. This is uh, this is just a concoction. It's, it's a... Is there fruits in there? Is that boba? Mm -hmm. What kind of fruits is that? Dried cherries, so oh, be careful whoops. munching down on it. Dried cherries. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so. Mm. Oh, I like it's it. It's so pungent. Yeah, oh. Torshak does mean, torsh means sour. Mm. Oh, so sour. Yep. Wow. Oh. And all the seeds are in there. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. I mean, this is more sour than uh, mm. umaboshi, I feel like. It's the same kind of thing. It's I, I, so bold. I like this surprise. Tor shock. Tor shock. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to have to give this an 8.1. Uh, like, I, it's so unexpectedly great. It did surprise me. Whew. Um, oh my gosh. I want more. I want more. Yeah, what's, more? It, what's it like if I go again? <laughs> oh, Chase, you want one in your mouth? Uh huh. No, don't. That's now that's going to go all the way down. All right, give me a shot. No, I won't. I'm not going. to. I'll throw one of these big lo logs at you. <laughs> a log piece. Here we go. I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a seven point eight. You want me to go mouth or plate? Uh, or just aim in the middle. See what happens. Yeah, let's go tricep. Go with the mouth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it does bounce. <laughs> yeah, give it. Give him one more. This is this is a new eat Olympic sport. Oh, that was it. Ah, he got it! He scooped it with the Frisbee. What do you think about it? I think we ate the Greek version of this when I was an intern. Oh, it's really That's taking delicious. him back. Taking Dang. him back to his intern days. And with that, all of our sweet event scores are in. Let's turn now to Chase. <laughs> Once again, our mythical Eat Olympic official for the prestigious medal award ceremony. Taking home the bronze with a score of 6.6, .6, representing Georgia, it's Church Killer! The log. And receiving the silver with a score of 7.95, representing Iran, it's Torshak. It'll surprise you. And that means the gold medal winner in the mythical street food Eat Olympic Sweet event representing Canada with a score of 8.25, it's Beaver Tail. Yes, it's no surprise after seeing how Ren and Link responded to the Beaver yep. Tail mm, they loved that it. it has won the gold today. 
And as the flag waves, we want to thank you for joining us for the first ever Street Food Eat Olympics. Come back tomorrow for Good Mythical Weekend. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Abby from Calgary, Alberta, but right now I'm in Nara, Japan, feeding deer. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Don't feed the deer! Too late. <laughs> Maybe you can there. I think you probably can. Click the top link to watch this, guys. How many footlongs it would take to equal the Mississippi River? And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Be sure to subscribe to the Rhett and Link channel because our new series, Rhett and Link's Wonderhole, premieres on August 23rd.